Mount Apo, the largest, highest, and pinaka dangerous mountain in the entire Philippines. Ah, ah. Oh. And when I say dangerous, I mean dangerous talaga. As in hikers have died trying to climb this unforgiving trail. The 27-year-old James Davila Alvarez reportedly got nauseated first and complained of shortness of breathing before he passed out. In the local language, Apo signifies master. And it's not only a mountain, but an entire national park that is considered to be a sacred realm of the indigenous communities holding cultural roots that extend deep within the forest. Hiking this mountain is not only a physical challenge, but an entire spiritual experience that you will feel with each step in this ancient sanctuary. This is a story about how some crazy guy named Will Dasovich convinced me to climb this magical mountain almost killing me. Well, not so much me, but more of himself as he literally almost fell off a cliff but was rescued by one of our tour guides. On top of that, his kawawa assistant is in the hospital oh no. as we speak. And his road manager, who I just met a few hours ago, looks like she wants to kill me. If you have ever thought of hiking this mountain, this video should give you every reason why you should do it and serve as your ultimate guide. Climbing Mount Apo is hard, but traveling to Mount Apo is as hard. People from all over the world, like myself from Argentina, everyone knows that, travel to the Philippines to climb this beautiful mountain. But getting to this mountain in the deep jungles of Mindanao is not easy task if you're coming from Manila and your flight gets cancelled three times within the same 24 hours. At least that's what happened to us. Oh my god, dude. It just says our flight got moved. I was screwed. <laughs> yeah, dude, we what are. What do we do, bro? Taka, our flight got canceled. Are you all? What can go wrong will go wrong. We just got a message from Pal saying they moved our flights, which means by the time we get to Mount Apo, we might be starting our trek at 12 a.m. So we are doing this hike with zero hours of sleep. We're pulling an all-nighter tonight and gonna hike up and down Mount Apo in 24 hours. What? And why 24 hours, you may ask? Because if you're a member of the Bully Husband Club and you have a new daughter who was just born last week, you cannot spend too much time traveling away from the Webzilla. Just like with airlines, there is this concept that you can check in the Bully Husband Club manual for Marie Miles. When you're accumulating miles for traveling through good deeds like taking out the trash, cleaning the floor, doing the dishes, and everything that a husband should do, you get Marie Miles if you do special things. Now, unfortunately, I already used all of them when I traveled to Qatar to watch Messi win the first World Cup from Argentina. So as of now, I only have enough Marie Miles to be gone for 24 hours max, and that includes flying. And that is why we have to go to Mount Apo, hike it up and down, and then fly back all winning the same day. Welcome to the Bully Husband Club. Cebu pack full, pal full. The best case scenario is we land at 9 p.m. in Davao, plus three hours to Calatagan. We're gonna be destroyed. By this time in the video, this is already the second time our flight got cancelled. As I'm panicking about our delayed flight and the zero sleep we will get, Will is entertaining by the idea of making up some BS that is good for us and adds another challenge and challenges blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. You know, for me, it just adds to the challenge. At least now we can do this without sleeping. You know. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm gonna go home. I'll see you at the airport okay. later. Nico? Yes? Dude, I'm almost to the airport and I just got another message from Pal. No. It says it... No. <laughs> our new flight, what time? Seven? Seven o'clock is our new flight. They messaged two minutes ago. Right, we, we cannot do this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is the part where things got complicated. Initially, this trip is supposed to be just me and Dasovich. But then Dasovich decides he wants to vlog and make branded videos. So now he needs to bring his assistant, his room manager, who I think he secretly has a crush on because I've seen the way he looks at certain girls where he giggles a lot, always smiling, blah, 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 doing pa' cute around them. Anyways, I digress. So he also brings his dad, who looks like me, meaning now that there are five of us in total. However, the other three people who are with us had their flight get delayed even longer, so now me and Dasovich are alone on the plane, and Dasovich is stressing out because the rest of his team is still back in Manila. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we just landed in Davao, and I already lost Will. Came down the plane, and I don't know where Will is. I have his camera, I have his gear, I have everything, but I don't know where he is. So after leaving all his camera gear with me and then getting lost in the airport, Dastovich says absolutely worst thing he can say to me and surprise me with this. All right, so this is the scary part. This is where I have to tell Nico that uh, 
I'm not joining him. I'm not joining you. Why are you not joining me? I came here for you. You're not joining me, you just joke. I left my family because of you. Hi Sandra, this is Nico. We just landed. Okay, I'm yeah, we're coming out. Because I can't leave the other guys that le got left behind, you know? But they're, they should be here in an hour and a half, so I'll just wait for an hour and a half. You go, you get some sleep. I'll wait for them, I'll meet you at the lodge. I hope you're joking. I hope you're joking. <laughs> I hope you're doing this because of the vlog. No, okay? dude. dude. No, you, you know what is gonna happen. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna start trekking at 12, and you're not gonna make it. We're gonna both go to Apple separately. That was not the whole reason why we came for this trip. Mm. You have to think, if we came here with the purpose, with the mission, you came here for a family trip. If you came here for a family trip, you should have told me, would have brought my wife, my kids, that I'm missing. It's a purpose, what do you wanna do? You're not leaving them behind, they're joining later. We were supposed to do it, the climb up and down same day, so that's why we need to be there. They're gonna sleep there, but they have more flexibility. We don't, we have to go up and down in 10 hours. They were about to sleep there, right? So they can arrive later, sleep, leave later, sleep there. We don't have that luxury. All right, I can't vlog this. This is serious. Sometimes Will says drama is good for the vlog, blah, blah, blah. But when he say that it is kind of a joke. I don't know what as per expectation. This was not a joke. This was a real situation. Dasovic wants to wait for the group who had even more delayed flight so that we can climb all together. But I don't have enough marimals to stay in Mina now another day. I have to be back in Manila by tomorrow or else... I'm gonna kill you, Nico! You know how hard this is gonna be? I have no idea what we're up against. We're going up and down a mountain in 24 hours. Like, how hard could it be? It's not in 24 hours, it's 10 hours. I wish we had 24 hours. We have to be down before 4 p.m. I've been up for 48 hours, basically. Are you ready? No. Neither do I. <laughs> Okay guys, this hike can be broken into four different segments, and this is part one, the farm. Our journey begins in the middle of the night in pitch black darkness where you couldn't see your own two feet in front of you if not for a headlamp. Trekking through mud while surrounded by the sounds of horses and livestock, this is why we call it the farm. This is by far the easiest part of the hike, because it's pretty flat. The sooner you get over the fact that you're about to suffer for the next 24 hours, then for us, the better. Because once that feeling is out of your system, you can enjoy the natural sounds of the sacred land that you are entering. And suffering isn't as bad, as long as you have someone who will suffer right by your side. In my case, I have Dasovic. Touched on to our first junction, we've gained 500 meters. And we lost one kilo. <laughs> This is part two, the jungle. Here where things start to get dangerous. The ledges become steeper, the trails become slippery, and it's only inevitable to start stumbling and taking some falls. The important thing is, just don't fall off the edge. Ah. Ah. Oh. oh, geez, dude. You okay? Ay, madre. Ah, I'm by me again. Terrence, have people died here on Mount Apple? Last one was the biologist, and before him was a priest. A 51-year-old priest died Monday after he collapsed while climbing Mount Apple. Imagine if I fall and die, and you record it. <laughs> goody goody base camp, we made it. 4 a.m. base camp. We are more than halfway there. Keep going. Hola, Miguel. Hola, con water. Hola, con food. I'm going to die. When you hit base camp, distance-wise, you're halfway. But in reality, with the harsh terrain you have ahead and the difficulty of the proceeding hike, I say you are really only one third of the way. Fighting to keep our eyes open and no time to camp given our particular time crunch, of course I have my secret power. The five minutes nap. Something Dasovic cannot do. You good? Five minutes. Five minute nap? Alright. The jungle is the longest part of the trek and at times it feels like it's never going to end. We're never gonna reach the summit. Oh, I can smell it, the sulfur. I didn't know this was a, a volcano. It's a volcano? 
dormant. Yeah, that's yeah, why they're they sulfur. Dormant until they wake up, eh? It's smoky. Tall volcano was dormant too and it exploded. Yeah. Stage one, farms. Check. Stage two, Fangon Forest. Check. Stage three, boulders. Here we are. After the boulders, then we head for the summit. Boulders. Welcome to the boulders. This is the most unique part of the trek, the most beautiful, but also the most dangerous. It's like we're in Murto. Hey, this is a sick shot, bro. <laughs> oh, this is strong. Yo, the, the boulders are f I did not expect this. This is easily the hardest part of this climb. Poisonous gases in your face, uncontrollable coughing, the disappearance of any sort of trail, and Perilius drops from rock to rock with no sight in end. The boulders was our breaking point. We have been climbing rocks for like an hour and a half. We just still don't see the summit. But we're above the clouds. What kind of brujeria is this? When do we get there? This is not the summit. Apparently there's mountains behind those mountains. There is! How much longer? Stop the bulls. Stop the one kilometer. Stop the 300 meters. Give me a boy leg. How much longer? I see like 10 summits. Every time they summit, it's another summit. It's another summit. Where's the summit? Where's the summit, Terrence? It's walking distance. Sir. Where's it? The... Walking distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trail joke that he threw like three times already. It's pretty good though. 200 meters ago, you said it's only 300 meters. Yeah, that's still a walking distance. <sighs> okay, vamos. Oh, we completed step two, the boulders. Step two or three, I'm losing track, but step three is done. We're now to the white sand. What are we doing this again? I don't know, like to dig deep and be inspirational and challenge yourself. Yeah, all that's getting kind of rage. Kill rage. Yeah. That's what you feel right now, but in the editing cave after it's done, we'll come up with some like inspirational story of why we like doing this. Can you see we're above the clouds? We're in cloud nine. We're in cloud nine, but we, I feel like we're in hell. You know? We're struggling, we're in pain, we want it to be over with. We forget, why are we here? Why are we here? We're regretting it. But... but... <laughs> when you suffer together with someone, it like, it creates this unique type of bond that you can't build doing anything else. So being in misery together makes us closer. Like, it, you know, between you and Erwin Youssef, I always don't know who's my better friend. But now it's me. Like for the moment, yeah, because like we're we're struggling together. So the whole climb was worth it because of those words <laughs> that you choose me over. You should, you should do thing. I tried, but look, you can't see any. That's the summit. We're so close. We're almost there. Okay, guys. All right, summit push. Let's do this. Woo -hoo! Come on, guys. Come on, be. Come on, be like the adventures. Bruh. Okay, good. I'm just gonna send the wheel to, Sol to Solen so she gets everything in case anything happens. Or to this beauty. Oh, We're here in Mount Apo. We already did 1,400 meters. And then you think, oh, we're beside me. We're almost there. No, you have to climb that sh. Where is it? That thing right there? That's freaking 87 degrees. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Welcome to the summit. <laughs> it's not bad, it is a crater. Okay, well, we're almost there. What's, uh, I can't think of, what am I trying to say? What's horrible, what's ridiculous is there's a big twist to this whole story. And it's that. To do this again. Okay, so wait, we haven't summit yet. So we're about to reach the summit, and the way I see you, you want to go down and up again because you want to go to your with your dad and bro i don't think you can do it i don't think you should go down and up again I'm, I'm literally holding you right now for you not to fall and we're still not in the sun it's still another 15 minutes so, so that what you just said that you think i i can't do it yeah that will make me for sure be able to do it because that's how i drive that's how
this is the highest part of the Philippines. Yes, it's only the glossy block because here. So I should close it now, but again, I'm not done. This is only half of it because I'm gonna hike back down and then I'm gonna hike back up. Like I told you, I, I'm a man of my word. When I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something. So let's go get back down so we can go hike back up. Okay, um, wait, yeah. yeah. Surprise! Surprise! <sighs> Look who it is! <sighs> Hiking again with you. <laughs> <laughs> So after blasting our knees coming down from the stupid boulders, we made it back to the forest where we ran into the rest of the group that got left behind during the three times play delay situation. Now insane, over ambitious Iraulo, Dasovic keeps making the stupid joke that is going back up again. What? He walks with me all the way back to the farm to tell me this. Alright, this is the end. We made it. Now I'm gonna go back up. It was at this moment I realized he Bruh. really isn't joking. Balu talaga. Go? Of course I don't want to go. What is wrong with you? This guy needs a psychiatrist. Imagine, he tried to convince me to do it again as if I'm crazy as him. This is where I leave the vlog. Hi. You're on your own, Dasovic. Good luck and I hope you survive. Just check my IG stories if I make it. I run out of Murray Miles and time to go back to my family. Sayonara. Hiking Mount Apo the second time around was a completely different experience and it allows me to paint a better picture of what this trail is really like because one, it's daylight so I can actually see what I'm walking through. I didn't recognize any of the farm area from earlier as I didn't see any animals or even know that there were people living at the base of the mountain. And number two, this time I was with a different group and going at a much slower pace so I could really take in the atmosphere around me. The hike I did with Nico was more of an endurance test and half the time we found ourselves doing a light jog, trying to push ourselves and keep up with our insane tour guide who happened to be an ultra marathon runner and is used to running up and down Mount Apo on his free days for fun. Going through the jungle, I realized it was more of a forest or a hybrid of the two, and it has to be one of the most unique forests I've ever been to in the Philippines. Recognizing different plants that I've seen back home in California mixed with a cool and foggy climate, at times it feels like you aren't even in the Philippines. It's a pretty magical place. Two days in a row. <laughs> You're so freaking... <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this again. Summit push. Ready, guys? No. You're scared. How do you feel? It's, you it's two in the morning. I suppose I should feel good. <laughs> I feel numb right now. I just have no feelings. I think I always feel this way when I know what I'm about to be up against. I'm in so much pain right now. I got a good hour nap in, and when you sleep, I don't know if it's your body swelling up, but it's just like I woke up, my whole body's in pain, and it's about to be more pain. Yeah. You got it. Good job. Good job, ladies. But at least we're in pain together. Hey, bud. You're about to be in pain. Sounds like the pain. <laughs> that sounds like the pain of. Uh, 5,300 feet of vertical. We survived. We survived the boulders. Oh man, I always get sleepy here at the top. The elevation dizziness. And as the sun began to rise with the fog dissipating ahead, we had hit the summit. This time with a clear view where I could actually see more than 20 feet in front of me, unlike the previous attempt. We're on top of the Philippines. Every time when I hit the peak of a climb, I experience the thing I call mountaintop clarity, where all tangled thoughts unravel and everything makes sense. Even I myself question the sanity and benefit of summiting this mountain twice. But once I was at the top, it was clear as day. 
On one end, I was able to solve the plane delay group separation crisis, as I was able to make both groups happy climbing with each team, because initially I had to choose one group or the other, but instead I shared this special moment with everyone. But on a deeper note, this double summit was an opportunity for mental callousing, willpower strengthening, and a special form of growth. Every year I try to attempt one memorable achievement, a feat so extreme that it'll push me past my own perceived mental and physical limits. No matter how my year goes, be it boring, good, or bad, it won't be forgettable because I'll be able to look back at that one crazy thing I did and hold that memory with me for the rest of my life. And now, I will never be intimidated by climbing a mountain in the Philippines knowing that I was able to complete the highest one. But what's even more inspiring is my assistant. This girl just climbed her very first mountain. Shavina has never summited a mountain in her life, and through sheer will and determination, she was able to conquer the tallest one. Don't stop, we're almost there. <laughs> With no exercise routine, no diet plan, pretty much no preparation at all, she was able to do it. And if she can do it, so can you. Another bucket, please. Check. Woo! Good job, Shabby. <laughs> Incredible trip. I would highly recommend this. Everyone who's in the Philippines to do this at some point in your life, no matter what shape you're in. As dangerous as Nico and I both made it, it's really not dangerous as long as you go slow at your own pace. You can take three to five days if you want. For us, it's really the pace that made it dangerous. Moral of the story, don't try and hike Mount Apo in 24 hours if you care about safety, or 10 hours and try and get back if you have a wifezilla and all that stuff. I just realized in this video, we didn't get into the details or what happened when I slipped and I got saved by one of the tour guides who grabbed me and everything. There's so many things that happened in Mount Apo and I could make a whole other vlog on it. But instead, we just did a podcast where both Nico Bolsico and I talked about our entire Mount Apo experience. I almost died in Mount Apo, but I almost fell off the cliff when we were in the forest, that slippery cliff, and then I slipped and then- and the guy grabbed you. I saw you already being grabbed by the guy. So if you want to find out more about that, check out the podcast linked below. We also talk about fun stuff, relationship stuff. You know, you're the, you're the reason for um, my last breakup. Wait, am I the reason for your last breakup? Shavina, are they still together or not? His new baby who he's never talked about on social media yet. So we, we get into his new experience with the second Gosh. porn. Check the podcast link below, video clips on YouTube, full thing is on Spotify. Giveaway. Today's giveaway is... We have a ton of Hydro Flask to give out all different shapes and sizes, coffee mugs. So as you can see, we have cases and cases of Hydro Flask. There's another box as well. So if you guys join this giveaway, a ton of you will win. There's at least 20, 30, maybe even 40. Help reduce the use and waste of plastic. Be cool and be part of the Hydro Flask gang. This was also an essential part of the hike, an essential part of my daily life. Go to Instagram leave a like on this video right here and comment tagging someone who you want to bring on your next hike with you. And you can comment anything. It really doesn't matter. We're going to pick a ton of people in the comments and we're going to give away these things like crazy. Be sure to follow my Instagram page and the Hydro Flash page. That video is a collab post between the two of us. They helped make this trip possible. Terrence Tour Guide and the Sea and Summit Company. Link in the description below. Such a fun group of guys who can help you climb this and plan everything they will take care of you. And if you need gear, raincoat, hiking shoes, pole, hat, backpack, water supply, sleeping bags, tents, headlamps, anything, camping, hiking, travel club provides everything. 
the links below. Everything we used on this hike was from the travel club and all the clothes that we wore was from Colombia. Everyone's always asking me where do I get these really cool hats. Colombia, Colombia. All my hiking clothes and stuff is from Colombia. So if you want a direct link to them, also linked below. When it comes to hiking, traveling, or anything outdoors, Colombia is my go-to. How is Shavina doing? We will update you in the next few videos because this video is already really long. Plus, we are still in Davao for the next couple of vlogs because we did a lot of stuff. We did a food trip, but Shavina is currently in the hospital. Ironically, it is not because of the Mount Apo trip. It's another injury, but we'll get to that later. And that's it for now. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the edits. It takes forever to edit these videos. I'm really sorry, guys. I've been traveling. I love Mona. Make sure to subscribe. If you're looking for videos, subscribe to both my channels to see where the next video is going to be uploaded. I'll see you in the Davao food trip next video. Peace!